Brought to you by Saturn. With five new models, it's just something to rethink about. Saturn. I don't have any trouble getting good looking women. Client number nine, AKA Governor Spitzer, is poised to resign in disgrace. We can't really offer him any help with his PR problems, but we might have an idea of how he can get out of his legal troubles. Do you think Spitzer should legalize prostitution? <laughs> <laughs> what? I think he's got bigger things to worry about than whether prostitution should be legal or not. Should he legalize prostitution? Yeah, no. like today, so he doesn't have to resign? I'm assuming that his days in office are fairly quickly numbed. He's going to have to move fast. It's shocking. Shocked. Weren't you shocked? I was shocked. <laughs> I was shocked. Now in Chicago, we wouldn't vote for somebody unless they patronize prostitutes. I heard she was a, a 9 out of 10. Uh, I heard she was pretty good looking, but hey, I don't have any trouble getting good looking women. Sex. That's all it was selling. That's why you had the microphone in my face. He's a man. He's a man. If I was his wife, I'd, I'd dump him. Who are you delivering these to? Still the wall spitzer? I guess he's horny, and uh, <laughs> power creates arrogance. When you're in a high position like that, you're under the microscope. And if he wasn't the governor, he wouldn't be prosecuted for uh, patronizing a prostitute. He was so adamant about getting everybody else who was doing things wrong, and then here he is, just as bad as anybody else that he was prosecuting. He was the one that said, you know, don't do anything wrong, and if you do something wrong, I'm going to get you. You would never think somebody who's fighting to close down prostitution halls is <laughs> has a credit with the with the hookers. Just typical of the kinds of crimes he'd been investigating himself. You know, the whole business of you know, uh, you know tax evasion, looking into tax evasion in order to catch people for other things. Mm -hmm. You know, he should have known better. You can cheat on someone and still love them. You know. It's inspirational. What if we took a moment to rethink our priorities? What if we rethink power and what it means to be strong? What if we rethink beauty and what it means to truly interact? At Saturn, we chose to rethink things, starting with every car we sell. With five totally new models, we chose to put the environment first, developing two fuel-efficient hybrids. We may just be a car company, but we're rethinking what a car company can be. Just something to rethink about.